it's a real pleasure and privilege to serve as your as your provost, as the leader of the academic community, chartered to help shape and guide your education to be all that we have promised it to be. I want to explain, spend a little bit of time explaining to you exactly what we mean by an American style of education. You've heard this term many times, now you're about to experience it. And I'll tell you just a minute, for just a minute, what to expect. We often characterize an American style of education as one that fosters, thank you, that fosters critical thinking. This is a very accurate, essential statement. Starting tomorrow, you will be challenged to critically analyze the ideas and information presented to you and learn how to articulate your perspectives in the context of the broader field of knowledge. When I say the broader field of knowledge, I talk about the multidisciplinary or interdisciplinary education that you receive. Whatever major you have selected or will select for yourself, we want to make sure that you don't focus on that particular track to the exclusion of other disciplines because we believe that you will be a better leader if you have this broader perspective informed not just by what might be called the vocational track of specific skills, but also the scholarly context of all the different attributes of the world around you. Our faculty is always striving for the best way to deliver this American style, this engaging, interactive, and multidisciplinary form of education. We've taken training and worked in workshops to improve our skills in what we call pedagogy, the science of delivering information. But no matter how hard we work to train ourselves and to exercise our knowledge as educators, we need for you to reciprocally engage. In other words, when we reach out to you, we need for you to reach back to us and participate in the class discussions and think analytically about what you're hearing and express yourself. This is one university where you will never be criticized for bringing alternative ideas. In fact, if you make a suggestion that shows that you don't completely understand the subject matter, the professor will welcome that, applaud your thinking, and value the opportunity to enhance their ability to understand what people have learned and to teach so as to fill all the gaps of knowledge and provide the context. Besides fine instructors, besides being very fine instructors, our faculty are scholars. And I want you to understand how special it is to be learning, interacting, receiving mentorship from people who are at the very top of their profession. Most of our faculty have the highest degree, the doctor of philosophy, which means that they are doctors not just of English or of communications or business, that they are doctors of the philosophy of those disciplines, again, helping you understand the context and the value. So take advantage of this time. You have the best instructors in Nigeria has to offer, and you have great scholars to guide you with all of their wisdom, leadership, and perspective. I'd like to conclude by asking our faculty to please rise. <laughs> Students, let's all applaud your leaders for the next four years. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the classroom.